This is a quick how-to video on how to reinstall the back gear on the South Bend 9A lathe. To do this, you're going to need a punch, a hammer, slot screwdriver, half inch wrench, maybe an adjustable. For what we're going to want to do now is just take apart our back gear to do so. Pull out this taper pin. The sleeve slides off. Put that to the side. Back here and the shaft slide apart. First thing we're going to want to do is make sure that this bolt here and the one over here are backed out enough that when you slide the shaft in, it's not going to bind up on that journal there. We're going to take our sleeve that has the large hole up top here. We're going to keep that hole pointing up as we insert it into here, pushing down that tensioner bushing if it's an issue, which for mine it is. There we go. Again, aligning the taper pin hole up top so you can drive the taper pin in later. Grab the actual back gear itself, hold it in position, insert the shaft. go. When the back gear is disengaged, the large hole, so disengage, sorry, disengage, so this shaft right here, the handle pointed to the back, the large hole, the large taper pin hole in the shaft will be lined up with our sleeve. So we can just throw our taper pin in there, like so. Take our punch, hammer, secure that. Next thing we're going to want to do is tighten the bolt that's on this side here. That's the one that stops it from sliding back and forth. We're at the back of our lathe and we're just going to tighten up this screw here. And this is the one that stops our shaft from coming out either way. We're going to pause here, we're going to verify everything still moves like it should, and it does. Fully disengages. And when the teeth want to line up, fully engages as well. So I like that spot. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of tighten up that uh, half inch nut and lock everything in place. like so. This is that tensioner bolt right here. So we're just going to tighten that up by hand until we have a decent amount of tension on it. There's a spring in there that moves a uh, bushing that rests against the shaft. So now we're going to test that. Pretty good, pretty good tension. A little loose. Tighten it up a bit more. Got this adjustable here, just give it a couple turns. We'll verify that tension again. There we go. A little less play in it. I'm happy with that. I think we'll leave it there. All right, and that's it. That's the installation of the back gear on the South Bend 9A. When the teeth want to line up. Like so. There you go, look at that mechanical advantage.